Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Hex Cells. Now, hopefully, this will be the last recording we ever do for Hex Cells. It's taken a little bit longer than I thought it would. These puzzles are quite complicated. I redid off screen 6 3 to get all of the pieces. So, unless I am misreading the glare on these other levels. I think we've gotten everything without any misses or maybe with one miss and it doesn't matter. So we only have 6-4 and 6-5 to solve. Ooh, and these puzzles are big. This is big. This is zero. We can start with this. 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 That. That. This one is touching two that can't be consecutive, so because it's touching three, we know it's this one and this one. Get rid of that. This one has to be consecutive three, so because of that, we know it's this one. So get rid of that. This one's only touching three, so we know it has to be all of those. This one's only touching three, so again, it's the same pattern. This one's already match to two, so we know it's not this one, this one, or this one. This one's already touching one, so that eliminates that, that, and that. This one's touching five consecutively, this one's touching four consecutively, this one's touching two not consecutively, three not consecutively. Interesting. I think we may have to start throwing some of these straight diagonal lines through. We had to calculate some of this. We can't go further here. We can't potentially go further here. Well, let's see. We can do a little bit further, can't we? Because we know this has to be one. Because it can't be for three here. One, two, three. It can either be one, skip one, two, three, or one, two, skip one, two, three, which means that it has to be one. Now, it still could be either one on that side, though. This guy's only touching two, so we know those two are good. That eliminates this. This then says that, which then eliminates this. This one's only touching three, so that's those are included. These, those two elim eliminates this. This two eliminates these two. At this point, isn't doesn't that mean all of these are included? Because that's it. That's one, two, three, four, five. So that then eliminates these two, which eliminates those two. This then eliminates those two. This one eliminates this one. This one eliminates that one. The zero here eliminates everything. This one is only touching this one, so that includes that one, which then eliminates that, and that, which then includes that one, which then, this two, having only touched three, includes this one and eliminates that one. <coughs> no, we still got a lot to go before we can use that seven. It's really going to come down to the 7 before we can solve this. This is interesting. 3 consecutive. So, if this was a match, then it could be these two. But since it isn't a match, we know it's not these two. Which then turns around and says it is these three. 
and eliminates that as a point of information. This tells us not really a lot of information other than we know those two aren't both going to be something and we kind of already knew that. Let's look here. One plus four is five. Then six, seven, eight, and then another four is twelve. We've got to get that down to seven. Five more need to be eliminated in that diagonal before we have any information there. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven though. And so we have eliminated enough to say all in this row are matches. Which then this eliminates that. This is only touching five. So that includes those two. This eliminates that, which then includes that, which then eliminates that, which then includes these two. And what are we saying here? We need six, one, two, three, four, five. We still need one more in there. And what does this look like now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, three more. Still needs to get down. This one's eight, but we know we're close to that solution. This one can include this one. I can tell you that much because these three have to be consecutive, so this one's included, which then this eliminates this one and that one which then nominates and includes that one, which now this four is only touching four, so that solves that. And then this three has to be one of these two, which eliminates those two. And this one's touching only two, so that includes those two. That means this three is already satisfied, so this is gone. This two is only touching two, and so this is two consecutive, which is, means that, which then eliminates these all on this line. The zero turns around and eliminates a lot more. Do we have any more information we can get from this? I don't think we do. Seven is not ready for that one. Three here has already been satisfied. So that's not a solution and that's not one of them. Which means this one now includes that. If I get one more this way, I will be satisfied. Do we have enough now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, still haven't eliminated anything there. What about this? Have we done the five here? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Everything on this diagonal can be eliminated. This is only touching two, so those two have to work. This is only touching two, so that has to work. This is only touching three, so that has to work. Mm. 
this one's already touching one, so we can eliminate those two. Not sure yet. There. This one's only touching two, so that has to be it. Solve it. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus seven. Nah, it's still too many. Still about three too many there. This two eliminates this, then the one. Then this two includes this, which then this two eliminates that one. And this two eliminates that one. And this three eliminates that one. This four is touching one, two, three, four, so that includes that one. So are we now to seven or eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. This two is only touching two now, so that's the solution. That gets rid of that, that gets rid of this. So now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just gonna leave these on, I keep coming back to them. Four here. Wait a minute, I think I've done four. One, two, three, four. That eliminates this and this. This then includes this, which eliminates that, which then includes this. And because of this five, we actually know it's all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll mark those two. Six here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're still not ready for that. Four here is not ready. How about three here? Three can be eliminating. Can eliminate that one. Which then marks these two nicely. Now this four is consecutive, so we know it's not this one. It's either that one or that one. And if I did this and this, it would be four. And that won't work. Because then 
that would be five over here. So this has to include this one. What's the next step? There's a three here. There's a one here. There's a one here that eliminates that. And then that three includes that one. This three eliminates everything else in this column. Get rid of that. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still not there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still not there. Wow. This one's only touching three, so it includes both of those. So this section now is kind of done. This section now here is done. I probably could have done that a lot earlier. This one's touching one, two, three, four. So that's that one. Completed. That means this one's done for, which it eliminates this, which means this one has to be this, and eliminates that. Get rid of that. That means this isn't it included. And this one here is five, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Still a question mark there. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, still a big old question mark there. Do I have six here? Not yet. Three there, no. What's the next step? What's the next piece here? This one here is touching only two. So that includes those two. Which means it excludes that two. Then this two non-continuous means that one and not that one. And then I think finally that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everything else is a mark. And we can be done with that. This three eliminates that one and that one. And this three eliminates that one. This three includes that one. 21 mines to go. This one is four continuous, so it has to be this one and this one. So then that, does that have one? include one more on this run. Let's see, what's our next step? This, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Count it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That eliminates that. Plus that three would have eliminated that already anyways. The two eliminates that one, this two eliminates that one, this one eliminates that one, which then means this is, I believe, set, and then this three includes this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, still not there. I forgot to count this one a couple times. But we are done with the left section. That's something to be proud of. Six here. I'm still missing something there. Five here. I'm still missing something there. Mm -hmm. 
So we know here, because of this one, that this has to be included, right? It cannot be one, two, three, four, because that would violate that. So this has to be included. That then opens this, doesn't do anything with this seven, but this seven we can look at. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's included too. This one eliminates that. This four also eliminated that. That three eliminates that. That means that includes that. That puts one, two, three, four, five, six here, which means these two are not included. Which I believe that finally means that the eight can be filled in. And it is already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I imagine if these puzzles got any bigger or more complicated, it would be rather annoying. This four eliminates that one. This five includes that one. We've got 12 more to go. What's the next step? We have five there, that's not ready. Six here, one, two, three. Let's see. Either way this is done, we kind of know on the three here that this side and potentially this side are included. So I'm going to risk a mistake here, just in the, to speed things up a little bit. I'm going to say this is included and this is included, because I think the only way you can do this with three non-consecutive is one, two, skip, one, or one, two, skip, one. I don't see any other way you can do it. And in either one of those, you're including this one and you're including that one. That gets us down to 10. This could be either, there's one there somewhere. There's two here somewhere. Wait, this actually could be solved because I can't do two here. And one, two, three. So this has to be included. And with that, that means that's excluded. And that helps a little bit. This one here has already been solved. Kind of feels like we have to calculate the rest by hand. Let's see. I'm not seeing anything that would, unless I mark something as as done when it shouldn't have been marked as done. I I think I have to calculate the rest of this just by the remaining nine. Well, let's see if we can calculate this. Let's assume that of these seven cells, six of them are mines. That leaves three. One can go here, and then Two could go there, and that would alleviate, leave everything else in question as far as these two and these four. One of these has to be here. 
we know that. Which means these two ha cannot be a match right there. Which then leaves us four there. That gets us down to seven. And this one eliminates that, which then includes this one, right, which then eliminates these two, which then includes this one, and this one. So now we're done with that. And we're done with that. Now there's only four left in this puzzle. So we have one, two, three, four. There's one here and three more here. There could be one here. Well, this one's actually only t touching two, isn't it? So it has to be here. Which then eliminates that and that. This is touching two that are consecutive, so we know that. Which then eliminates that. This is only touching three that are consecutive, so we know that. This one's already touching two, so it's out. This one's already touching two, so it's out. That was a full box of markers. Or, or hexes. And we're at 263, so in two ways I have been proven wrong completely here. One way, I said I thought we were going to get this done in one more recording, and it turns out, no, it didn't. It took us 26 minutes just to do 6-4. And then I also said I thought we probably wouldn't go over 250, and we did go over 250. So that's going to be it for this recording. Come back next time for the final recording. I don't see how we could possibly not wrap it up next time unless they throw some more puzzles at us. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name right over. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.